Welcome to a tutorial on the 7.4 LS373 LAT chip. All right, so this LAT chip is a very important device when it comes to you know digital systems. Okay, you can use uh, this uh, LAT chip to drive you know input and output lines and will control uh, you know the bus multiplexing and demultiplexing features. Okay, so we can basically refer to this chip as a tri-state octal D-type. LAT chip. Okay. Now uh, here, uh, the basically, these terms uh, actually will mean that this particular chip is well made up of D flip flops. Okay. There are well D flip flops included inside the chip, and now the term here octal basically refers to that it contains well eight such D flip flops inside the chip. All right. Now this chip is basically a twenty pin device okay now I'm gonna show you the pin diagram here alright so here you go so this uh, pin diagram will actually uh, basically reveals its uh, you know pin designations as such so you can see that uh, this chip uh, well has two control uh, lines over here one is pin number 11 that's the enable line okay and the other one that is pin number one that's the output control line Okay, so you can basically use uh, these two, uh, you know, control lines to control the, uh, you know, certain features of the chip. And apart from that, pin number 20 and 10 are referred to as the uh, plus VCC and the ground pins respectively. So you connect the 20 at pin over here to the positive supply uh, terminal of your power supply. Okay, and the number 10 line that's the number 10th pin over here connected to the negative end of the, your uh, you know single-ended power supply that you're using okay now this chip uh, well has a maximum uh, supply voltage requirement of about well 5.25 volts you can just give a maximum supply voltage of 5.25 so I'm just gonna write that down over here so this is basically the supply voltage and uh, well you can supply a minimum of you know 4.75 volts okay now typically this chip is uh, well operated at 5 volts so that's uh, you know you'll find it in most of the applications concerned and uh, well talking about applications this chip is uh, you know specifically suited in applications such as bi-directional bus drivers okay when it comes to you know controlling uh, the switching of bus lines and all so you, you can find well or rather you know relate such an application to the multiplexing and demultiplexing of address or data buses in uh, processor oriented systems okay where you just you know switch between the address and the data uh, yeah the address and the data buses specific uh, I mean you know specifically for uh, you know certain operations okay while uh, you know basically when communicating with the memory chip okay there you can just you know find this application to a larger extent all right so other than this there are other applications such as parallel in and parallel out buffer registers so since they are uh, I mean, this particular chip is basically a LAT chip after all. So you can, and, and it also has well, flip flops. So you can also, you know, store uh, the flip flops, uh, I mean, store data into the flip flops concerned uh, and use the chip as a register. Okay. And uh, this is, well, quite useful in whenever uh, you require uh, some sort of a register uh, type of chip uh, that will have, you know, parallel in and parallel out functions okay and also it has you know output buffers so it just provides a buffering effect to an extent okay so apart from that on a much more general note uh, you can basically use the chip in driving input output ports of digital systems as well where you can you know just require switching uh, of the ports concerned okay so that's uh, well a few of the uh, applications that I've just you know outlined over here and now I think it's time to well take a peek inside the chip all right so here uh, while uh, discussing about the inside of the chip I, I'd like to mention that well there are uh, D flip-flops inside the chip as I said earlier so this is such a D flip-flop that is being used inside the chip okay and uh, over here you can see that uh, the output of this D flop, I mean D flip flop, basically. So that's what's a <laughs> you know slip of tongue over here. So the output of this flip flop is basically uh, taken from the Q bar uh, output line concerned, and uh, it also has a buffer. Okay, so there is an output buffer stage. Okay, uh, 